In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add labels to a map and to customize them. In this example here, we have uh, two layers in my map. There's the Toronto City Wards and major roads for the city. What I'd like to do is include labels for the wards that indicate the city councillor for each of those wards. So to do that, I can select wards, right-click on it, and just say Label Features. And when I do that, if I zoom in here, what you should notice are a couple of things. One is that it didn't actually include the city councillors, and the other is that the labeling isn't looking that great. It's a little hard to read. It's overlapping with uh, other features in the map. So uh, we need to adjust this in order to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so in order to do that, we'll right-click on the word layer in my table of contents and select properties. and then select the Label tab if it's not already selected in my Layer Property dialog box. You'll see here that under Text String you can select which field will be used for the labels. So I'm going to select one called Counselor which has the Counselor names in it and here we can select the type of font that we want to use for it underneath. Here it's already set to Calibri which is one that I usually kind of like uh, let's try a slightly smaller version of that. We'll try maybe uh, an eight-point font. And it gives you an example on the left of what that label will look like. It's important to, to try and balance uh, the being able to fit the text into whatever polygons, in this case, you're trying to label, but also to make sure that it's legible at the final um, size that you want to, to print uh, or present your map at. One thing that I think is really useful, you don't have to do this all the time, but often it, it helps, is, is if we um, then add a halo to the map. Actually, you know what, first I'm going to just show you what this looks like. I'll say OK. And so now I've got smaller text. It's not too bad, it's not perfect, but you'll notice that even so, uh, in order for this to, to, to remain legible, I don't think I could make my text any smaller. So the fact is I'm going to have some names that are overlapping with my thick word boundary. And that makes some of the text hard to read. Okay, so what I was going to show you is that if I go back to my properties under labels, this is one of these little tricks that you would probably have a hard time finding on your own if you're new to ArcMap, is if you click on symbol you can then adjust the size uh, of the label. So here we're not going to do anything except click on Edit Symbol. And this brings up what the actual label will look like. And if we go over to Mask, I can add a halo to my labels. So what this will do is add this white uh, boundary around each le letter so that it will be legible on top of anything that it happens to be uh, sitting on top of. Um, so we can do that and leave it as it is. And if I do that, I'll show you what this looks like. I click OK. And now we have these halos around the letters, which makes it much more readable than it was before. So we can leave it like that, and that's fine. But let me just show you one last trick that you might find quite useful. I'll go and do this again, Properties. Select Symbol again, Edit Symbol, and under Mask, I click Symbol one more time. It's amazing how deep they bury these things. And then I can select the color of the fill that I want to use. So if I wanted something to match the background of the, uh, the layer that's, that the labels are on top of, I can select something like that. I can remove the outline color so it's not there at all click OK and so now ah, I was off by one color I'll try that one more time the idea is that well I could I could leave it like this and the point is is that now we have a halo that's there but is not as obvious as the white would be uh, and just to finish off if you can humor me for a moment um, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist so I'm going to go back in here and do this one more time and select 
the next one up from that. And hopefully this will match it correctly. It doesn't always have to match, but sometimes it gives you a better effect. So that's what I was looking for there is that the halo is there and it's obscuring the underlying lines enough that I'm able to read the text, but it's not becoming this really obvious white halo around everything that I'm trying to label. Of course, I could go back and change the font if I'm not crazy about this one or make it bold. And there's more that you could do to make this even more legible. Uh, maybe make the text a lighter color, for example. There's lots of options. And I'm not saying this is perfect, but th these are just some really simple techniques to help make your labels much more uh, legible depending on what it is that the la labels are sitting on top of.